This project has taken us now to New Zealand and we are looking at the artwork of Ray Wynn Harris and she uses um, the inspiration of the Kuru plant which is a fern that when it's new in growth it's curled up and spiral in shape but as it unfolds it is the lease of new life which is the belief of the Maori people of New Zealand and what I want to demonstrate to you today is how to create first her spirals so I'm going to use my um, my pastel marker but you're going to do yours initially in pencil and then you're going to go over your pencil drawing with oil pastel so initially we're going to do a spiral you can do the spiral anywhere on your paper and that would be the start of the growth of the Kuru plant now I'm going to just reflect that spiral by going over it again now our project, the objective is to create a, an image that has value we're using a wet on wet technique which I'll describe to you during this presentation we're going to be using chalk pastel blending and altogether it's a mixed media project now I'm going to break up, I'll do another spiral here actually, we're going to break up our paper into organic shapes so I'm just going to do a wavy line so something is growing away from this spiral I want to bring the divide this section up here again I'm going to do something that's got growth and in your different areas you're going to add images plant-like images so I'm going to do some some leaf shapes here and we're using the oil pastel to trace over our pencil lines to give ourselves that resist technique and then we're going to go over it with uh, watercolour paints and then eventually with um, chalk pastels to give it a velvety feel now if I continue with that I'm going to get to this sort of stage here and this is where I want to start adding value now value is where we take something from light to dark the way the light is coming across so in certain areas you're going to make your line slightly thicker as though the light's coming in from one side and casting a shadow on the other you're actually going to be doing the same with your paint so I'm just going to darken up this edge here and this edge here, you'll do this in your oil pastels this edge and I'm going to do the same there, I'm just going to darken it so that we have value once I start painting now wet on wet means that you're going to first apply water onto your paper now I'm just going to do a section at a time and not do the whole, whole section so you'll have watercolour paper but remember you're not over flooding the page you've still got to be very careful with the process and then when you paint I'm just going to add some purple in here wash that brush while it's still wet this is where we bring in another colour and you can see how it starts to spread because that colour that you initially put on the purple was wet I'm going to bring in another colour there and in fact going over the first colour I'm putting them side by side and when they join they, they blend I'm just going to add some more paint here and do some more purple and join it blend it and you can see how we get a marriage of those those colours together 
and the oil pastel lines that we did come through so they don't vanish or diminish on us. And you can see how there it's, it's actually starting to travel and spread. I like to use the colours that Raywin Harris used, more closer to nature, rich with the blues, the greens, the purples, as though we're in sort of like the shadowy twilight time when we see all these wonderful colours in nature. Again, don't forget to actually make sections of your paper wet and then apply a new colour. until you have the whole painting completely filled. Okay, now that's your first stage. Your second stage, when the whole thing is filled with colour, you are then going to be showing how to do the chalk pastel blending and that will then tie in the watercolour uh, painting along with your drawing and it gives it that beautiful velvety texture and you've got this fantastic composition of the Kuru spiral plant. But that's a video for another lesson. For today, boys and girls, what we're going to do is we're going to do our plant-like spiral drawings, incorporate some extra more plant-like images, leaves, organic growth. This is all free-form drawing. And then we're going to do our wet-on-wet -wet painting technique. And when this is dry, our following lesson will be chalk pastel blending.